Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Guys, uh, please watch the video till the end without skipping. And uh, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp student groups and also within your status guys, WhatsApp status, so that it will reach maximum number of students and your contacts, so that maximum people and students will get benefited through this, I hope. So this is week two assignment guys, I hope. Uh, I tried my best to give you the most probable solutions. If you feel there should be any changes to be made in the solutions I gave. So please give your opinion in the comment section guys. And if I find any uh, changes, I will update in the comment section. So before final submission, once again check our comment section on video guys. So let's see the first solution. Why there is a need for fragmentation of IP packets? So I think uh, I think the probable answer is fourth option. All of these. So mark option D. Now let's move on to the second question, guys. Second one. Which of the following statement or statements is or are true? So for second question, I have got two probable solutions guys. The first one is option A and the other one is option C. So mark option A and option C as the probable solutions for second question. Now let's move on to the third one guys. So third question. An IP packet arrives at the final destination with the M flag set as 1. Which of the following statement is true about the packet? So for third question, I think the probable answer is option C guys. The packet represents a fragment of a larger packet. So I think option C could be the probable solution. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the Fourth question. Which of the following statement or statements is or are false for IP address? So for fourth question, the probable answer is option C once again. IP address consists of three logical parts, uh, network number, host number and port number. Actually only two parts, but they have given three parts. So it is the wrong a uh, false uh, statement right so mark option c now let's move on to the fifth one guys so fifth question which address classes to do uh, do the ip addresses uh, so they have given both the ip addresses so belong to so for fifth question I think the probable solution is option C guys, class B and class A respectively. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the sixth question guys. So sixth question. So before getting into the sixth question, uh, I want to make a small announcement guys. So this is the announcement I want to make. So we have prepared exam preparation, uh, ethical hacking, uh, previous MCQs guys. So with nearly five years of experience in NPTEL, we are uh, doing these solutions guys. So there are two packs, savings pack and super savings pack. So both are PDFs only, PDF Google Drive link access. So number of MCQs in savings pack 150 and super savings pack, the name itself suggests. So you will get huge number of 300 MCQs guys. 300 MCQs. No one in this YouTube is providing this many number of MCQs guys. Only our channel exclusively doing this. So uh, here if you can see that. So for 150 MCQs the price is 300 rupees only guys. So you will get the validity till the exam day. So the price I mean price is double for each bit right. But if you see here in the 300 MCQs pack. So the uh, 300 MCQs is just 500 rupees only. For 500 rupees only you are getting this guys. So it's less than 2 times right. So it's bad. Uh, my suggestion is to take this pack guys. If you see uh, 150 MCQs pack. 
up to three members access you can get that means for 300 rupees you will get access for up to three members so you can share that price so for 100 rupees only you are getting each one right but you have to form three member group in order to purchase this uh, this is i uh, mean the price uh, the purchase value is 300 only guys so even if you are one member or three members the price is 300 rupees so if you want to buy this you can if you, you can uh, combine uh, the you can share the uh, purchase money within yourself you, within your classmates or friends so for each person it takes just 100 rupees right if you share your money right and the topic coverage is medium in this pack guys and search option is also available and it is also easy to revise because it's a uh, pdf right you can easily scroll even going to the exam and the number of uh, mcqs in super savings pack is 300 guys and the price is just 500 only so the access is given up to five members guys so remember this is the main important thing here up to five members access that means it is also individual price so 500 divided by five that means per per each person it will take 100 rupees if you uh, collect uh, from five members right so for 100 rupees only individually you are getting 300 mcqs so it's very very better option guys so the topic coverage is also very high and both search option is available and also easy to revise so my suggestion is to take this 300 mcq spec guys very very beneficial for you so if you want to purchase then only message me guys so the mail is this one guys bk179417 so if you want to purchase any of these packs you can message me to this email id guys already many people have taken various mcqs guys packs so hope you join in that list so think smart and take this pack guys so this is my suggestion so with nearly five years of experience we have collected those mcqs guys now let's get uh, let's get back to the solutions so sixth question which of the following ip addresses represent broadcast address for sixth question i think the probable solution is option d guys 202.0.255.255 so i think option d could be the probable solution so if you found there should, there are any more solutions please give your opinion in the comment section guys now let's move on to the seventh question So seventh one, the maximum number of hosts that are possible in a class C network is what? So for seventh question, the answer is, so I am zooming this for you once, uh, take a look at this. So I think this is enough, right? So the answer is 254. So I have got 254 as the correct answer, guys. Now let's move on to the next question. So as we have already zoomed this, let's continue like this. So for better clarity. So eighth question guys, what is a TCP half open connection in the context of connection establishment using three way handshake? So for eighth question, uh, I think the probable answer is option A guys. The first transaction does not complete, does not complete. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the ninth question, guys. Ninth one. In the TCP header field, what do sin equal to one and ac equal to zero represent? So for ninth question, uh, the probable answer is option A, guys. Connection request message. Connection request message so mark option a now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one guys so before moving into the 10th one i want to uh, please make you uh, remember that so we are providing this exam preparation mcqs so for 300 pack it's just 500 rupees only up to five members can get access guys so if you want to uh, message me please give this a uh, please send message to this email id so I, we will respond now let's get back to the solutions. So for 10th question, the correct answer is, I mean, the probable answer is option A guys. So friends, these are the solutions for week two assignment. So hope this helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video, share this with your friends. Bye bye.